Hey children, today we are going to continue with our lesson Unit 8, The Robot, from your Super Nice textbook, page 101. For today's lesson, we will first read and guess about some text and the pictures, and then we're going to write a little bit about monsters, and we have our homework for today. So you may refer to your textbook, page 101, read and guess. Now the first one. I am an octo. I've got one head, I've got two legs and eight arms. I can dance. So if given here four pictures, who do you think is octo? Let's read again. I am an octo. I've got one head. So out of these four pictures, the options are only the last two pictures. I've got two legs. One, two. And I have and eight arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is octo. Very good. Now let's try another. I am clump. I have got two heads. I've got six legs. And I can run very fast, but I can't jump. So who do you think is clump? Let's look at the four pictures again. Right. I've got two heads, so it will be the first or the second picture. I've got six legs. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So which one do you think is clump? Very good. This is clump. Now number three, I am Duke. I've got two heads. I've got five legs. And I've got ten feet. I can jump. So based on this four picture, who do you think is Duke? Can you try? Well done! The second picture is Duke because it says I've got two heads, one, two, I've got five legs, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got ten feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now let's try the last Last question. I am black. I've got one head, eight legs, and four wings. I can fly, but I can't jump. So which do you think is Zach? Can you try? Well done. The green monster is Zach. Why? Because he states, I've got one head, one head, Eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four wings. One, two, three, four. I can fly, but I can't jump. Now, I want you to learn to try to write about a monster. So now, I want you to learn to write about a monster. Now, from this picture, can you tell and talk a little bit about the monster first? Now, number one. How many heads does the monster have? Yes, three. One, two, three. How many legs does the monster have? Correct, three legs. One, two, three. What about hands? How many hands does this monster have? One, two, three, four. So what color is the monster? Yes, correct. It is green. Now, can the monster dance? Let's see. So, when you want to write about a monster, we start off with a name. So, let's give this monster Rob. I am Rob. So, what's next? You write about the heads. I have got three heads. And then, you write about the legs. Comma, three legs and four arms. 
So what color is the monster? Can anyone tell me again? Yes, green. So you write, I am green. Can the monster dance? If you look at the picture, the monster can dance. So you write one thing that the monster can do, which is, I can dance. Okay, so when you write this sentence, joining together, you will get a paragraph. This is what I call a paragraph. So your sentence will be, I'm Brock, I've got three heads, three legs and four arms. I am green, I can dance. So, for today's homework, can you try to write about your monster? But before you write about your monster, I would like you to draw your own monster first. Complete this homework in your English one. So, when you draw your monsters and you wanted to start writing, what should you start first? Yes, give your monster a name. So you write, I am a... Number two, you describe your monster's head. So you should write, I have got how many heads? Put the number in. Next, you talk about the legs. How many legs a monster have? And how many arms does your monster have? Once you are done, I would like you to talk about what color is your monster. So you say, I am, fill up with color. It can be red, blue, purple, green, black. And the last part, what can your monster do? I can fly, I can run, I can jump. Okay, once you are done writing this sentence, I want you to join it to make it as one paragraph. That's all for me today. Thank you, class. Bye.